Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is about the second deity I would ever know. Yeah. The only main one is Highwayman. Highway so man, the Highwayman repping it out for all the deities. Oh yeah. I mean, that guy is Labs deity about as hard as anybody ever would. Yeah. So we're gonna have deity versus. I think I think Prophet would go Falcon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If it's if it's gonna be a deity, he wants a big body. Oh, that's gonna be scary. Uh, Falcon's just gonna be able to up air DDD for days after the first down throw. Um, I don't know if Prophet's like proficient with like uh, like down air footstool combos or anything, but at the end uh, of the day, down air is gonna be good. The um, four tilt all over the ledge would be another one. So it's just how well is the spacing um, for Banjo? Yeah, little delayed on that nair right there. After the dash attack, you can string up one or two up airs, depending on DI. Here you go. Anti-air with your own aerial. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, get the idea out of that. Uh, he DI'd away, so oh. that way make it a little bit more harder for Prophet to to get that up air. Didn't get the complete dash in that he was looking for. Yeah, but the downside to that is he's giving up so much stage control right now. Okay, I like that from Prophet going for the down uh, down throw knee. It's <laughs> not guaranteed on anybody except Mewtwo, but if you do DI in, then it does become a confirm. So yep. Prophet's just testing that out, see what this guy does after his down throws. Oh, okay, Banjo making a comeback right now. He's he's spacing out quite well. Oh, got a little too close there. Oh, nice catch. Oh my gosh. That's Thank God there. you can actually catch that thing. Yeah. Up there. Trying to wall him out, not doing too good of a job right here. Oh, uh, back, back air. Yo, oh, wow, that is going to kill. That was some suspect DI. Maybe he was trying to, like, it definitely looked like he was holding back. Yeah. Well, the other thing is the sides are all very close on this stage, so you have to be careful because. Well, if he regrabs, he's dead. Oh. oh. Okay. Goes for the regular get up, it gets caught by that Gordo. Gets caught by oh. it again, up air. Not going to get it this time. Oh. I would like to re-grab from that platform. Yeah. Spacing out with the back airs. Oh. Up there, no air dodge. Oh, oh my gosh, my good back air by DD to get away from that knee right there, because that was death. I almost connected, luckily he had that back air covering him. Oh, the Gordo what? covering very well right there. That was a very strange angle that he got sent at. Oh and my knee's god. knee's not going to kill just yet. Just does it, drop down knee. Oh man, Runs I was away. waiting for the down air right there. Trying to fight for another backer, another knee. Yeah, he's going for the knee right now. Backer's probably not gonna kill for another 20 and... more percent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? nicely done. He extended the hitbox with it. Oh, Back good. Air. Guys, yes, gonna kill. He is he is sitting at very good rage right now, but he's a whole suck. But right now, back, back I, backer's gonna do it. Like if he just gets hit with like strong hit backer, it's done. <laughs> that. Uh, Almost he, got him. He's got super armor on the way up with that up B, yeah. so he was safe from there. For at least one hit. Back air. I can catch right. it. Back air is going to do it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you can't just sit there without no shield, boy. Yeah, the the chase down was a little weak. I know he wanted to keep going with the back air string after he got the first one. Yeah. Unfortunately, didn't get his second jump off in time. And then after that, kind of got a little antsy, went for the up smash on the platform. There's so much end lag on that, that there's no point. And we have yeah. Prophet switching to the Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, the main thing I want to see um, Banjo try to do, I mean, play more as, is defensive. Yeah. He was doing very well with his aggro, but when it came to just blocking attacks or just throwing up the shield to um, try to get like, the perfect shielding and everything, he never threw it up at all. Yeah. I never saw a shield once. Yeah. I mean, Falcon's one of those difficult players to play very defensive against because he's so fast and he can just break down most zones. But now we have a completely different matchup. No platforms and two big bodies. Oh, yeah. So I imagine we're going to be seeing a lot of that. We're going to see a lot of back airs coming out for Profit. That's one of DK's best moves in the neutral. Ooh. Double back air would have been a better option there. But good coverage with the up air. That's going to be all about the grabs this game. But I think it's a little... In terms of matchup-wise, I think Banjo would be a little bit more comfortable with this because it's easier to space around DK. Yeah, I honestly believe he would have been better just staying Captain Falcon. The yeah. speed was helping him so much more than it is now. 
I think he just wants to see it out for game two. He doesn't have a game to play with. <laughs> trying to just test out the matchups. And I think he killed oh, him. Oh, yeah, he did. And he knew it. Oh, that sucks. But we take those. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, DDD is a super heavy boy. So Ding Dong isn't going to kill as early as it does with other matchups. <laughs> so that factor is also really questionable. Yeah, like, that's why, why he's just it? trying to get out the forward air for the spike. Like right now, I think maybe a fully charged forward smash would kill, but that's about it. That or the donkey punch. Doesn't have that charged up right now, unfortunately. Yep. Oh. Get that. Try to go with the up air right there. Oof. Yeah, the, a bunch of DK's moves are laggy, so we can't just... Can't oh my god! It. He almost got that forward smash read on the getup. Oh, very nicely done. This is not looking good for Profit. Press to read the roll, doesn't get it either. Dodge the back air. That down tilt is super fast on cooldown. Really doesn't have much. Oh, good back throw, but I could kill just yet. And that's surprising too, though. Di didn't look like it was all that great, but he still survived. Uh huh. Oh, I tried to get the roll read. Not gonna kill just yet. Oh wow. Diddy's a big boy, man. But I think a back air should. Back kill air. Yeah, yeah. There you go. But he is standing at 91 damage. So he has to be very careful. I mean, if he gets to like two or three grabs, he could even this back up. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's about getting that grab, and I don't think Prophet's grabbed him with a cargo once yet. No, he hasn't at all. But he's just getting, he has to touch him. Okay, auto cancel Nair, Ooh. not gonna get it. Yeah, down smash is gonna do a little more. All right, so what's, how's he gonna get back? All right, Gordo is back. Command grab. Got nothing off of it. He's back on ledge, that's where he wants him. DK's worst spots are in the air or at the ledge, so as long as his feet aren't touching the Back ground. Air, not gonna do it just yet. Wow, yeah, if he was close. closer to the other side, he would have had it. For sure. Reading this roll. And a JV2 go. stock coming from Banjo. Oh man, he knew. Oh, it was all because of the SD. Yeah. Yeah, Prophet did SD, but it's not like the game was ever out of Banjo's control. Yeah. I feel like this matchup in this stage was just really, really good for Banjo. I could imagine him switching back to Captain Falcon. Yeah. This is definitely a better matchup. The speed, the anti-airs, and then the fear that Falcon brings into you every yeah. time you get the grab. It's, it's really good. And they're going to town? Three, yep. Alright, now the scary part is killing off the top. And that's the scary thing, because, like, Falcon doesn't really kill off the top. He really kills, like, off the sides mainly. Yeah. And DDD, oh my god, DDD, excuse me, has, like, way better options coming off the top with up air and up smash. Definitely. But the thing is, he has to land those. Yeah. Like, DDD's up air is a kill move, while Falcon's up air is more of a combo uh, mm -hmm. extender. Going for the up B right there. Oh, he wants he wants to deal some damage. He wants him that bird to get down. Yeah, I mean it's a good option when the opponent's on platforms because typically when you're on a platform you like to hold up shield. Oh, one more. Oh, uh, snap to ledge. Yeah, if he if he would have tried, he would have died himself. Ooh, oh, oh my God! Even in the back up. Gordo. Gordo's do so much damage on both sides too. Oh yeah. And the random just bouncing of it will send you somewhere way different. Oh, oh with a down air nipple spike, nicely done. <laughs> That's so po It's so disrespectful. Like cannons and falcons, like down down airs are just like, oh my god. Oh dude. my god! Don't get me started on cannons. I think it kill you at zero. Right now, profit working on a good lead. I I don't think you'll be dying to a back air just yet. Oh, got a platform. Yeah, he's not gonna get stretched just Oh, the Gordo out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, down air. Oh, is it forward air? Oh. Oh, oh no, he missed the tech, but he does recover with the a B. Okay, so right now he's looking for the short up hop air. up air into the knee. That's what he's Oh, good back air. Not gonna kill just yet, though. What's the setup? Got oh, it. nicely done. Four smash covering by the Gordo. Uh. He put out the goader in such a way where he would either have to air dodge or hit it away, and then he had that force mass charging ready to punish either one of those options. Mm -hmm. Down throw, not gonna get anything out of that. Unfortunately, I think I feel like forward air would be a better option or back air after the down throw at zero percent, because it doesn't go high enough for you to do up air. All right. Yeah, he knows not to stand near that ledge when he does that. DDD, one of the better characters at sharking from the ledge. Same option. Not gonna punish it that time though. Bear. 
these guys get that one kill move that he's looking for. He's looking for the knee or the back air. Mm -hmm. Or uh, just uh, about 20 more percent, and he gets a Raptors kill. Oh, yeah. Side, side B is also a really good kill move. And it's really good when you're uh, predicting like a roll away. Oh, yeah. Just calling out rolls with uh, Raptor oh. boost is really good. Oh, Air no. Dodge getting caught by the Gordo. Yep. Oh, he threw out that force smash a little too early. Yeah. And he's like, okay, you're going to get stuck in that. Let me just uh, knee you straight uh, in the back. Yeah, Banjo went for the roll read one too many times. And I feel like he didn't really, like, pressure yeah. um, Prophet into rolling ever, really. He kind of just went out there saying, please roll. Yeah. It's like, you're trying to predict, predict way too hard right there, Banjo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, good try, but um, when you get a high enough player like um, Profit in them, they 